<laughs> oh, hello, everybody. Oh, what is this? The monster at the end of this book. Hmm. Starring lovable furry old Rover. Oh, that is me. Hey everyone, this is Gene with Mahalo.com, and I've got another great review for you today of The Monster at the End of This Book for the iPad. The Monster at the End of This Book was originally printed in 1971. Since that time, it has seen almost a dozen reprints and even a sequel. I remember reading it when I was about four and a half feet shorter and laughing at every turn of the page. Now, Sesame Street brings the monster to iPad. This retelling of the story features an animated Grover narrating his lines from the book and acting out the scenes in such a way that at the end of every scene, Grover is in roughly the same position as he appears in the illustrations found in the original. The interface is extremely basic, and if you get stuck, Grover usually chimes in after a few seconds and tells you, I will need your help to turn the page. Just touch the corner right here. There's an added interactive element as well. During the course of the story, when Grover ties the pages together or builds a brick wall to prevent you from turning the page, you can touch the knots on the rope to untie them. Each time, you're treated to further narration by the terrified Muppet. As Grover narrates the lines from the book, they appear on the page. As he says each word, it is highlighted so that your child can follow along and put the word together with the sound. There's also a button in the top right that gives useful discussion tips to parents who are reading along with their child. The settings are accessed by double-tapping the home icon. This prevents accidental opening. The menu includes an image table where you can skip right to your favorite part of the book. You can also toggle the page turn option and the parent tips option. As lovable as Grover still is after all these years, his book has not gracefully made the transition into the digital age. The first few versions of this app were notoriously buggy. They've worked out a lot of the sync issues with the latest iteration, and despite several reports of frequent crashes, this version remained stable for me throughout the numerous times I went through it. It does retain a few of the initial annoyances, however. Whenever you turn the page, all of the illustrations and words vanish while the page is animating, which leaves you with blank pages for several seconds as the new content loads. This effect is rather jarring, and it leaves you feeling like your iPad is about to crash each time it happens. Also, while the animation is playing, you can't access any of the buttons. And call me old school, but right in the beginning where it says this book belongs to, I still want to write my name on the line. While there are no social media sharing options, this book has had such a profound impact over the last 40 years that it does in fact have its own Facebook page. The monster at the end of this book is a classic Sesame Street product. Grover is as fun and entertaining as ever, and the emphasis on education is equally realized in this timeless children's app. I give the monster at the end of this book 3.5 out of 5 stars. Please be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe below, and send in your review ideas to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching. And you were so scared. The end. I told you and told you there was nothing to be afraid of. <laughs>